Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Military amphibious vehicles are unique and versatile. These vehicles can move confidently both on the ground and on water, thus overcoming any obstacles in their way. Today, we will show you the 10 best military amphibious vehicles in the world. Alvis Stalwart The Stalwart, formerly classified by the British Army as truck, high mobility load carrier, and informally known by servicemen as the Stolly, is a highly mobile amphibious military truck built by Alvis that served with the British Army from 1966 until 1992. The hull is the vehicle chassis. The engine is situated under the load deck in the rear of the hull, and the gearboxes with differentials and transfer boxes forward of this. The three-person cab has the driver's position in the center and a seat for a passenger on either side. In the water, it can be driven at about 6 knots 6 .9 miles per hour, by vectored thrust water jet propulsion units. The maximum speed on the highway was 55 miles per hour, 88 kilometers an hour. BTR-82A The BTR-82A is an advanced 8x8 wheeled armored personnel carrier being manufactured by Military Industrial Company of Russia for use by the armies of Russia and Kazakhstan. The BTR-82A APC was developed based on the design of the BTR-80A. The main armament of the APC is a 30mm dual-feed automatic cannon. The gun can fire armor-piercing tracer projectiles, high-explosive fragmentation incendiary, and high-explosive tracer ammunition. The armored hull of the APC is made up of Kevlar-laminated synthetic material to provide ballistic protection. The reinforced floor with multi-layers offers protection against improvised explosive devices and mine blasts. The vehicle can accomplish a maximum speed of 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers an hour, on road and propelled by a water jet when on the water. FNSS Kundas Kundas is an armored combat earth mover offered by FNSS, a Turkey-based manufacturer of armored vehicles and weapon systems. The vehicle is designed to excavate and move earth, clear obstacles, cut steep slopes, and fortify the banks of water streams. The armored combat earth mover features a dozer blade at forward hull, a ballast chamber in the center, and a power pack at the rear. The armored vehicle can withstand small arms fire, armor piercing rounds, and shell splinters. It also offers resistance against impact from mine explosions. The armored combat earth mover can travel at a maximum speed of 28 miles per hour, 45 kilometers an hour on land. The vehicle is propelled in the water by two pump jets that enable 360 degree maneuverability in rip currents. It can swim in river streams at a maximum speed of 5.3 miles per hour, 8.6 kilometers an hour. Lark LX Lark LX, or as it was originally designated, Bark, is a welded steel-hulled amphibious cargo vehicle. It could carry up to 100 tons of cargo or 200 people, but a more typical load was 60 tons of cargo or 120 people. The vehicle was powered by four 265-horsepower GMC diesel engines positioned in the sides of the hull, each of which drove one wheel on land. Pairs of engines were coupled to drive each of the two 1.2-meter, 47-inch diameter propellers, which propelled the vehicle in the water. Its top speed was 20 miles per hour, 32 kilometers an hour on land, or 7.5 miles per hour, 12.1 kilometers an hour afloat. The Lark LX was used to transport wheeled and tracked vehicles, including beach preparation equipment and general cargo, from ship to shore or to inland transfer points. BT-3F The Russian BT-3F amphibious vehicle is intended for use by the Army, Navy, and Marine Corps and provides high maneuverability, 
armor protection, and direct fire support for the troops on land and at sea. The armored vehicle is manned by three crew members and can carry up to 14 troops. A 185 kilogram DPVT remote controlled weapon station, armed with a 7.62mm by 54mm PKTM Kalishnikov machine gun, is installed on the roof of the vehicle to engage both fixed and moving ground based targets. The BT-3F Infantry Fighting Vehicle's armored hull offers all-around ballistic protection up to Stanag 4569 Level 4 for the occupants against 14.5mm by 114mm armor-piercing ammunition rounds. The armored personnel carrier has a road speed of 70 km an hour and is capable of traveling at a speed of 10 km an hour in water. BVS-10 Viking Viking BVS-10 is a fully amphibious armored all-terrain vehicle consisting of two tracked vehicle units linked by a steering mechanism. The UK Ministry of Defense ordered 108 Vikings from BAE Systems. Bolt-on armor plates provide protection against 7.62mm armor-piercing rounds and 152mm artillery shell fragments from a range of more than 10 meters. The vehicle is rated to protect against 0.5 kg charge anti-personnel mines. The Viking can ford through water up to a depth of 1.5 meters without preparation. It is fully amphibious, being able to swim in deeper water with less than 2 minutes preparation, including closing holes and fitting a front vane to prevent a bow wave washing over the front windows. The speed of the vehicle in water is 5 km an hour. AAV-7 The Assault Amphibious Vehicle, official designation AAV-7, is a fully tracked amphibious landing vehicle manufactured by U.S. Combat Systems. The amphibian entered service with the United States Marine Corps in 1972 as a replacement for the LVTP-5. The AAV-7 is an armored assault amphibious full tracked landing vehicle. The vehicle carries troops in water operations from ship to shore through rough water and surf zone. It also carries troops to inland objectives after ashore. This APC should be capable to carry a full complement of 25 combat-ready personnel, or 5,000 kilograms of cargo from US Navy amphibious vessels to the shore. Initial deliveries began in 1971. On road, the AAV-7 can speed up to 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers an hour. On water, it can use either water jets, allowing up to 8 miles per hour, 13 kilometers an hour. ACV 1.1 Amphibious Combat Vehicle ACV-1.1 is a new armored vehicle designed and manufactured by BAE Systems in collaboration with Ivaco Defense Vehicles. The new vehicle is designed to offer enhanced survivability and payload features compared to the USMC's existing fleet of AAV-7. The ACV can be launched and recovered from the sea using a ship. It can perform operations smoothly, even in the adverse Sea State 3 conditions. The vehicle is designed to accommodate three crew members and 13 dismounted troops. The amphibious combat vehicle features multiple weapon mounts to house a range of machine guns. It features a remote weapon station, which can be armed with an M2.50 caliber machine gun. The hull can be installed with a stabilized dual mount turret for launching M2 Mark 19 grenades. Sprut SD The 2S25 Sprut SD is a self-propelled tank destroyer or light tank developed and manufactured by the Russian defense company Volgograd Tractor Plant Joint Stock Company to meet the requirements of the VDV. The armored vehicle's primary mission is to deliver attack capability to the infantry troops against armored targets and enemy fortifications. It is also suited for reconnaissance and security missions. 
The primary armament of the tank is a 125mm gun fitted to the remote controlled weapon station. The secondary armament consists of a 7.62mm machine gun and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. In amphibious mode operation, the vehicle uses a pair of water jets located on either side of the hull for propulsion and bilge pumps to remove wastewater. Patria AMV-28A Patria AMV-28A is a new member of the AMV series of wheeled armored vehicles produced by Patria, a company based in Finland. The vehicle is intended to offer an optimal combination of amphibious capability, protection, and firepower. The Patria AMV-28A is installed with Kongsberg Protector medium caliber turret mounting commander's independent weapon station with a 12.7mm machine gun and a Javelin anti-tank missile launcher. The AMV offers the highest level of ballistic protection in its class. The vehicle also integrates nuclear, biological, and chemical protection. An automated amphibious mode allows the vehicle to swim at a maximum speed of 6.2 miles per hour. 10 kilometers an hour. The vehicle can attain a maximum road speed of 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers an hour. That's all friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the vehicles you liked the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.